Hello everyone, I'm Janus and in this video I will give you a quick overview of animations and rigging in Blender. So first of all, if you look back at older games, for example, here is a character from GTA uh, 3, then you can notice that um, it has some strange lines uh, running through some body parts and this is because at the time in order to animate the 3D characters uh, the character was actually composed of multiple individual meshes that were clipped inside each other and they were pretty much just moved as individual objects uh, around. Nowadays we solve this issue by using skinned meshes. Uh, this means that we first create a skeleton. Uh, let's do it in Blender by Shift A and adding an armature element. So this will add a bone. And in the edit mode, we can edit this bone. Uh, but we should also have some kind of a mesh that we want to animate. So Let's make a capture. For this, I will begin by adding a UV sphere, and then I will se select this sphere, also select the topmost vertex of it, and expand my selection by pressing Ctrl plus on the numpad. And this way I can select half of the sphere, and now, Let's extrude it upwards, so we'll get a capsule shape. So this can represent like, like a little finger that we could animate. But in order to blend it properly, uh, or I mean blend it properly, uh, we need to add some more loop cuts with Ctrl R. So here it is. Now it has enough vertices to actually be able to bend. Okay, let's go back to the object mode. I will also smooth shade it and enable the armature again. However, I can't see the bone anymore because right now it is inside the mesh. In order to make it visible, you need to select the armature data tab on the bottom and click on in front. So this allows to change how the armature is displayed. You can also change the way it actually is rendered, but I find the otrahedral representation the most um, understandable. All right, now let's select the armature, uh, go to the edit mode, and we can actually edit this armature just as it is a, just as it, if it was a edge structure. So I can select this top vertex here, press G and C and move it upwards a bit. And now to add more uh, bones, we can simply extrude this node by pressing E and then locking the C axis. I can add one, E and C, two, E and C, and three more uh, bones. All right, now we have enough bones to bend this uh, mesh. And we can go to the object mode. And in the object mode, if I select the uh, armature, I can also go to the pose mode from this list and here give it the pose. But as you can see, the mesh itself does not actually bend yet. So Right now, we, we are having a simple armature, but it doesn't, uh, but not a skinned mesh yet. So to do that, I, we need to parent the sphere, or in this case, it's a capsule mesh. Let's rename it. We can also rename the, uh, the actual, actual mesh like data as well. And then, uh, in order to parent it, while we could just parent the uh, capsule under the armature by shift-dragging, it doesn't actually prompt anything. 
So let me take it back. Uh, the way to uh, parent it with uh, more controls is actually by selecting first the capsule and then shift selecting the armature so that the armature will be selected last. And then I will press Ctrl P. This will uh, open the parenting uh, menu and I can select the uh, armature deform option with automatic weights. All right, so it's also just parents it underneath, but it also added some automatic weights. So if I go to the pose mode, you can see that now the mesh actually bends with the armature. Really nice. All right, so, um, but what actually makes the makes it bend? Um, let's see. Uh, let's select the mesh again. Uh, the and now if I go to the edit mode, you can actually notice that under the mesh data, uh, it created vertex groups for all of those different bones that we just added. And this means that um, uh, those those vertices are all weighted between those different bone groups. Um, we can also see it if I go to the weight paint mode and here if I select different bones you can see the area that they are weighted to and they are affecting. So and in some cases it's also possible to even even paint, paint this area and um, kind of change how the object bends. Uh, but let's not do that now. Uh, instead, uh, I think let's do a quick animation. So while we have this animation uh, window underneath in the layout view, I think it's a little bit more detailed if we go to the animation. All right, and as you can see in the animation view, uh, it opened the dope sheet and it has some, some extra controls. Uh, all right, so how can we animate it? Um, first of all, we can actually add multiple animations. Um, by, uh, but to do that, we need to go to the action editor first, and then we can press new button and rename this animation. For example, let's call it a bendy animation. Uh, and now I can go back to the top sheet and start, start animating this object. Uh, so we have this timeline, I will move it to the frame zero and I will also go to the pose, pose mode where I can actually animate the object and let's give it the bend. Let's select those different, um, different uh, bones and just rotate them. All right, something like that. And this is our basic starting pose. So now in order to set those rotations to, to a frame, we need to select those um, rotated um, bones and press I and this will create a keyframe for this bone. And let's do it for all of them. All right, now I can move the timeline to a certain point like, like on this uh, here, for example, and bend it differently. Maybe something like that. All right. And let's add the keyframes by pressing I again. Very good. And now if I move the timeline you can see it actually animates and we can also play uh, press the play button and get it nice and animated so yeah that's in essence how the animation is animations in video games are made now if i were export this uh, model i can also include the, the different animations to the to the export para, uh, to, the, to the export options and this will also uh, ex uh, export those animations to do 
a game engine like uh, like Unity or Unreal Engine can can then see those those animations and uh, play them back. All right, and that was the quick introduction. Now for the um, practice session, uh, I will make another video where I will show you how to rig and uh, set up the uh, trackers for the spaceship that you have made. All right, have a nice one.